hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in my previous video i discussed about the basic introductory concepts about transistors that is the fabrication techniques of pnp and npn transistor the various terminals of uh, the transistor whether it's pnp or npn uh, the description their characteristic features and about the symbol of a transistor and its significance so in today's video uh, we will be discussing about why a transistor is named as transistor what is the reason behind the naming of this electronic device as transistor okay we will try to find out the reason for that so let us get started now whenever a new electronic device is uh, invented scientists try to devise or give a name to it which matches or which uh, which accurately describes the characteristics of the device the unique feature or what purpose or what service does it provide what unique uh, traits does it possess depending upon that a suitable name is assigned to a electro a new electronic device it always happens like that so in my previous video we discussed that a transistor has two pn junctions okay first the emitter base junction which is the input junction and the other is the collector base junction which is the output junction now the emitter base junction is always forward biased and as a result of that it has very low resistance whereas the collector base junction or the output junction is reverse biased and as a result of that it has very high resistance now what happens is that this electronic device called transistor it is always used for signal amplification okay it is its main use the main use of transistors is to provide signal amplification and commonly the common emitter mode is used we will discuss about that in my future videos in detail but you one thing you remember that transistors are always used for signal amplification and the common principle which is used is that the signal the weak signal to be amplified is introduced in the low resistance junction which is the emitter base junction or the input junction and the output is taken from the collector base junction or the high resistance junction so what happens is that the signal basically travels from the low resistance path the low resistance junction to the high resistance junction from the emitter base junction to the collector base junction the signal travels from the emitter base junction to the collector base junction so what happens is that the transistor or this electronic device it transfers this signal from a low resistance path to a high resistance path so basically transistor exhibits two properties first is the transfer property and the second the low and high resistance the resistance property so when you combine these two properties we get a suitable name as transistor that is transfer plus resistor here from transfer the trans part is taken and from resistor the ister part is taken so when we combine these two parts we get the name as transistor okay see how interesting is this the transistor exhibits two properties the transfer of the signal from a low resistance to a high resistance path and also it exhibits the resistance property the input junction is of low resistance because of forward bias and the output junction is of high resistance because of reverse bias so when you combine these two properties we get the name as transistor a suitable name is given okay 
so it accurately describes the two unique properties which the transistor offers us so depending upon those unique properties we get the name as transistor so now you understand why a transistor is named as such now often you will hear that uh, the transistor is called as bjt it is a common term used for transistor it means that whenever you hear the term bjt it normally refers to transistor there is also another type of transistor which is the field effect transistor fet it is different from it is completely different from bjt but normally normally whenever you hear the term bjt or transistor they are used uh, they are often used as synonymous terms and fet is uh, named separately field effect transistor you all nobody will use transistor for field effect transistor they will say properly they will say that it's field effect transistor but whenever someone somebody says the term transistor they normally refer to bjt the full form of bjt is bipolar junction transistor which we are discussing now okay it is bipolar junction transistor the emitter base collector and all those things they are actually of the bipolar junction transistor or bjt why the bjt bipolar junction transistor is named as such first of all in the bjt's current conduction takes place due to both electrons and holes when it is an npn transistor electrons are the majority charge carriers and holes are the minority charge carriers whenever it is a pnp transistor holes are the majority charge carriers and electrons are the minority charge carriers now please uh, check out my video related uh, to semiconductor physics in which i have discussed about uh, uh, the various concepts related to semiconductors such as uh, the intrinsic extrinsic semiconductors p type n type semiconductors majority and minority charge carriers so please check out that video uh, so that you understand these things in a better way okay i have discussed in detail about the various things related to semiconductor physics so please check out that video in the basic electronics section okay next we have uh, the current conduction taking place due to both electrons and holes so the term bipolar comes into play for that reason as both electrons and both polarity of charges are involved so the term bipolar is used and the bjt has two junctions you know the emitter base junction and the collector base junction hence the term junction is used and as i discussed in the previous part the bjt performs the pro, uh, the the function of transferring a weak signal from a low resistance to a high resistance path so both the functions that is transfer and resistance they are combined to form the term transistor so when these three terms are combined we get bipolar junction transistor so for this reason the transistor is also termed as bjt bipolar junction transistor okay so these are some of the naming conventions which are used for uh, naming transistor and bjt so i hope you like this video and in my upcoming videos i will be discussing about the working principle of pnp and npn type bipolar junction transistors the various modes of connection of the bipolar junction transistors and their working principles so please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and electronics engineering have a great day thank you very much